<laughs> what? It's like a little cowboy dude. Then the mask shattered into pieces and humanity was finally rid of the demon curse. The end. Wow, talk about a long story. Well, you asked. Anything else I can help you with? I don't know. I can't afford any upgrades at the moment. Well, do you have any other stories to share? Of course. Here's one for you. To be continued. Ooh, could there be a messenger too? Could there be a messenger too, I wonder? New game plus mode unlocked. Okay. Uh, I have 30 minutes left. I'd like to play the DLC. Um, does anyone know how to access the DLC? Uh, okay, where's the DLC? Uh, blurry visions are forcing themselves into focus. Okay. What is happening with the orb? Wait, did you see something in there? Well, it was blurry. Uh-oh. What? Well, the demons are not only fighting us across time, but across space, too. You mean parallel universes? Precisely. The orb, amongst other things, warns us of alternate timelines where the demons are about to win. And if that happens, those events could overwrite our own reality. How does that make sense? Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, I love how ultimately when it comes to the end game, Goldstream ultimately becomes... <laughs> I mean, it was a good game, I enjoyed it, but I want to play the DLC now. Um, and in fact, if you prefer consistency over additional content, I suggest you leave the orb alone. Oh, here, okay, this is the DLC. He's using keywords, additional content. Uh, additional content sounds good. Then I suggest you do not leave the orb alone. Yay! Okay, this is the DLC. Let's go. What is going on? My devices are reacting as if a portal to another dimension has just opened. It's fine. You can get back to work. Uh, but I'm supposed to be the one opening the portals. I'm telling you, it's fine. Is the messenger leaving for a side adventure? Yes. And do you think you will do the thing? I don't know why. Because it's not a real adventure if you don't do the thing. Look, just a quick trip to the dimension where Voodkin Island never merged with our mainland. I'm sure nothing of note will happen. Well, you better let me know if you do the thing. I want to be there. Okay, fine. I'll keep you in the loop. Sick. I'll be in my lab. What? Nothing. Well, why don't you go then? It's just for once I wish someone said, Godspeed, Artificer. Who's Artificer? Oh, come on, we're trying to focus here. Why do you always feel the need to make everything about you? Hey, I work hard, but it's always only about you and the Prophet. Oh, he's the Artificer, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, don't. Ahem. You rang? Oh, Prophet, can you say Godspeed, Artificer, just this once, please? You're not the one going on an adventure. I am. That's why it's not Godspeed, Artificer. You just sit. You just sit up here all the time, so. I'm sorry, what? Wow, can we just get on with the show already? These two, I swear. Just go, messenger. And don't forget, you're entering an alternate reality, which you must prevent at all costs. I will handle these two. OK, 
Okay, an alternate timeline far off the coast of Messenger Island. The sun shined bright on tropical Voodkin Island, so the little Phoebekins decided to go for a picnic. But as fate would have it, Demon General Barmathazel appeared out of nowhere to cause quite the panic. Uh, taking his hostages deep into Voodkin Island's deadly jungle, he would use them for an evil ritual. Only one hero could travel across dimensions to rescue the Phobikins and foil Barmathazel's plan. Uh, unless, of course, it was all a trap. Why, hello there, young adventurer. Elder, I was teleported here, but I don't know where I'm supposed to go. And you are? You don't recognize me? I'm part of the clan. Listen, I might be old, but it'll take more than a costume to fool me. I remember every single student. But I'm a real ninja, you taught me yourself. Do you even cloud step? It matters little. I can sense the scroll's power, which means my time is probably better spent helping rather than questioning. A very tall and apparently evil being came in peace to wait at the docks for the messenger. Said he had mutually beneficial offer for him. I suggest you head for the docks now. And again, we are well versed in the prophecy and acknowledge the scroll. No need to wear a disguise next time. Alright, before I continue, um... I guess I should share thoughts on the messenger before I jump into the DLC. Um, okay, so the last time I played this game was like, uh, I think it must have been... Jay, do you remember the last time I played this game? I think it was back in... Um, it's probably like June, right? Back in June? When I last played it? Um, I guess I think what's I think what I like about the game is it has some unique gimmicks. I'll be back. Lurk. Okay, see you, Jay. Gotta go. She's having a panic attack. Okay, no worries. Um, I hope. I'm assuming you're talking about Lindsay. Hope she feels better. Um. Okay, so I think uh. I think the messenger has a lot of uh unique gimmicks as far as I like how um I like the switching between eight bit and sixteen bit. I thought that was really cool. And they actually use it like in a fundamental way as far as only making certain platforms or paths available if you pass through like 16-bit or 8-bit. Um, and then, uh, spoiler, if you haven't played The Messenger, um, how halfway through the game they merge the worlds together so it becomes a Metroidvania. That's really cool. The music's really good. The platform seems really uh, simple. Um, but they add on like the cloud step, the regaining your jump when you attack enemies or projectiles. Um, so I don't know much about platformers, but I thought that was really cool. Um, and yeah, so I don't really pay a lot of attention to the dialogue, but uh, I think the gameplay is really good. Uh, very easy to catch on to, but it builds up. So those are some quick thoughts. Hey, welcome back, Shriddles. How was the uh, grocery run? Head left for the docks, someone there is expecting you. Hi, my name is Rock Lesseur. You clearly don't need a tutorial, carry on. Okay. Uh, chill. It's cold out there. Yikes. I'm weak to cold, it seems. Sorry, I was doing chores. Yeah, no worries. Uh, welcome, Addy. I'm telling you, hype makes right. The messenger will bow before the mighty Ruxton. Ahem. 
Uh, it's going alright. I just beat the base game. Um, I'm just jumping into the uh, the DLC right now. <laughs> yeah, we do play a lot of the same games. Uh, what? The messenger has arrived. Oh, great. Just when you think you have plenty of time left to practice your spooky flight intro. I guess I'll just come down. Watch this. <laughs> and so the messenger seeks the aid of Rux and the Great. I do? Well, aren't you trying to get to Voodkin Island? Yes, apparently some Phobikins have been captured. And how do you suppose you will get there? Well, I was thinking of calling my buddy Manfred to fly me. And ruin his internship with the Clockwork Concierge? That's not what buddies do. But we're in an alternate timeline, so would he still be a butler in this alternate timeline? Or alternate reality? I have you cornered. Bow before me and acknowledge my superior height. Then I will take you there on my skull mount. That's true, none of us do play Hitman. Uh, not that I know of anyway. Hitman looks like a fun game though. Like an open world metal wall. Metal Gear Solid is already open world. Uh, but it reminds you of Metal Gear Solid with the stealth element and the stealth kills. I don't know how much similar it is after that. Probably not very similar. Well, this is embarrassing. Look, I I have a date tomorrow. Could you help me get my, my stilts back? I'll take you to Vukin Island afterwards, I promise. Sure. Alright. Hop on. Okay, so our quest right now is to help him get his stilts back. The w this weather is perfect. Want me to teach you how to surf? Uh, yes. Alright, first rule of surfing. Avoid rocks at all costs. Use... L to move down one lane. Sometimes avoiding a rock means jumping over it. Press A to jump now. Gnarly. Okay, last thing is the Necro Boost. Which has no cost or cooldown. Press X to use Necro Boost. Not, not too impressive, right? Here's the kicker: the Necro Boost is maintained when it feeds off of enemies or debris. Press X to use Necro Boost now. Oh, that's cool. Necro Boost will be canceled if you hit a rock, though. You can still change lanes and jump while boosting. Use L to move up one lane. Okay. Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding the Necro Boost if you want to maximize speed. That about covers it. I'll let you drive now. Time to shoot the curl.
Hey, what's up, Josh? How are you? All right, let's show that squid who's boss. Ah, fuck. Close. Oh, I have to do this all over again? No, okay, cool. I thought I had to start the stage over. I'll be back. Oh, uh, thanks for the lurk, Jank. Uh, have a good lurk. Ah, oh, shit.
Okay, let me move my camera out of the way here. Um, let's see, webcam. Let's move this over here. Okay, there you go. Boom. There you go. Enough. Give them back. Why don't you tell us what is wrong, Ruxton? I don't want to talk. Just want my stilts. But we miss you. Why don't why won't you visit? Stop it. You're not my mom. Ruxton. Okay, um, give me one sec, Addy. He left again. Yes. I don't understand him anymore. <laughs> I thought the Necromancer thing was just the phase. But, but it's been so long now. So are these his parents? Are these Ruxton's parents? I feel responsible. We should never have told him he was adopted. Ah, uh, okay. Sniffle. Don't cry, Octo. But I miss him, Pi. You know I miss him too. Oh, I know what will cheer you up. Tentacle touch. That sounds dirty. That sounds dirty. Tentacle touch? Okay. Tentacle touch. I love you, Pi. Okay. Uh, No tentacle touch, please. No hentai. No hentai. Um... I love you too, Octo. Yeah, this is uh, this is getting kind of awkward. Oh, come here, you. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. All right, gonna have some Octo sex right now. 
Okay. Tentacle caress, please. <laughs> the messenger will play right into my hand. Once the magic seed is imbued with voodoo energy, I will be one step closer to getting my revenge. So naive and predictable. I bet he is already on his way to save these useless creatures. Ah, I knew it. Time to hide for now. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the tropics. Can you turn around for a sec? Please. Much better. I'll let you get on with it. Come see me if you want to go surfing again. Okay, uh, let's see. Out of context philosophy quote from Addy. Um, okay. Uh, this is patently absurd, but whoever wishes to become a philosopher must learn not to be frightened by absurdities. If anything, philosophers seek out absurdities. That's like one of the main things philosophers do, is seek out and question absurdities. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, anyone have thoughts on that quote? Sure. What are your thoughts? 